So we're still talking about our time management and we've done a couple scheduling pages, but another thing that I wanted to focus on with time management is that it's not always about having an hourly schedule and having your day plan down to the minute. Sometimes it's taking time to focus on what things you want to do in a specific time frame. And that is perfectly acceptable for time management. So I have a one spread page, which you could expand into more if you'd like, of a summer bucket list and a fall bucket list. So this page is a little more fun and it's not just a calendar or a schedule, but this still allows me to keep track of my time and work on my time management skills as well while doing it in a fun and more appealing way for me with doodles. So we'll start working on this, um, the summer bucket list and the fall bucket list. I am pretty positive I could have made a whole page for each of these alone because I have so many things in my list of things that I want to do. So let's get started. So I finished the top portion of my page, and as you can see, I put a big, thick black uh, line to divide the summer and the fall bucket list. For my summer bucket list, it obviously looks a little different than my fall, um, and you'll see that more when I finish this fall section, but what I have is each ray of sun, I have listed something that I wanna do in the summer. So it's my bucket list. And what I'm going to do is once I complete these, then I'm gonna color it in. So I have actually gone stargazing this summer. Um, that was on my bucket list for the summer and I've done that. So I'm gonna color in that ray of sunshine. I have not gone camping yet, wish I have, but I haven't. Um, I have planted some vegetables over the summer. So that is one that I'll color in. So this um, bucket list, again, kind of like that, one of the last pages I talked about, you're really adding the color as you go for when you've completed something. You do not have to do it this way at all, but it's something that I like to do because it shows me how much um, I've completed and really makes my bullet journal look pretty amazing by the end of the year. So it's kind of cool to see. So I'll color that in. I have got a chance to enjoy the outside. So I'm gonna color that in as well. Thanks to working from home, I've gotten to sit out on my deck and that's been pretty enjoyable. Um, so I can color that in. But as you can see, um, this is just another way to work on your time management that's a little broader focus than some of the others that we've been talking about with specific scheduling. It gives you a chance to really try something new and focus on them over the course of a period of time instead of just every day and scheduling hour by hour or minute by minute. Sometimes that's daunting. So, Hopefully you'll have fun with the bucket list. I'm gonna finish up my fall bucket list now. So for these two pages, again, this is all about time management, but looking at it in a more fun way. So the top, once I complete all of my summer bucket list items, I color it in. And I'm coloring it in in a pattern, so it looks nicer in my opinion, but you can do whatever you'd like. For the bottom here, for the fall, I do not have, I have them already colored in. So this is not necessarily a tracker, this is more of just a list of what I would like to do for my time during the fall which is completely okay. You can do whatever you would like to do. If it's nice to check things off a list for you, summer bucket list might be where you're at, kind of doing a style like that.
But if you just want to make sure you don't forget to do anything in the fall time, this is a great way to do it as well. Plus, it's fun to do the little doodles. But again, your bullet journal is completely up to you on what you want to do and figure out what works best for you. Good luck. Thank you.